Today I'm going to show you how to install my new nozzle light mod. Let's go! The light I used for this project is a 5 volt USB Cobb LED strip. I'll link to the one that I bought on the Maker World page. It's the same LED strip I used on my riser, so I had some extra laying around. I found you can cut it into a tiny section only 5 LEDs wide and 4 of the lights will still function. For the wires, I stripped an ethernet cord and used one of the twisted pairs to carry the power to the tiny LED strip. As you can see here, the light shield piece simply slides into the front of the tool head. It's a friction fit so no adhesive is required. I also added some DuPont connectors. This is optional, but it will make taking the tool head off for maintenance and such much easier. In total, I used about 4 feet of wire and I still had some slack to cut off. You can use the gaps on the side to kind of hide the wire. Once you're happy with the wiring, grab the second piece, the wire retainer, and plug it into the slot at the top of the tool head, trapping the wire behind it. Great, we're done with the tool head cover. Let's move on to wiring. The wire runs from the top of the tool head through the cable chain around the back to the left side and then all the way up to the front where it connects into the end of my riser LED strip. Now that we have our wiring done, we can install the tool head cover back like normal, plug the fan in, plug the DuPont connector in to power our new LED lights, and then just snap the front back on. And that's it, you're done. Thanks for checking out my video. If you do like it, subscribe for more stuff like this.